I'm Katie Neves, a TV and podcast presenter and trans ambassador with a love of people living their truth. So here's me doing my thing. So I'm a trans ambassador as well as a presenter. And so I do trans awareness training and inspirational speaking. And I speak to audiences all over the world doing this. And it, I love it, but it's so needed at the moment because there is so much hate and misinformation and bigotry against trans people. And so it's vital that we just show that trans people are just ordinary people who want to be happy. Uh, I've just admitted to myself and accepted that I'm actually a transgender woman. Um, and that I need to change my body, so commonly what most people would call as a sex change. This is Your Story, the weekly show that gives you the chance to tell us your stories to us here in the studio and to the viewers at home. Coming out can be one of the hardest things you can do. You can feel so alone, vulnerable and lost. So I want to make it a joyful experience. And here's how. I co-host a BBC Sound series called Time for Some LGBT. And we talk to all sorts of amazing people from the whole of the LGBTQIA plus community. And just talking about the struggles that they've had, also funny and touching stories. I absolutely love it. My earliest memory was probably about three or four, uh, when, I used to, um, when I used to dress up in my sister's clothes. And that's gone up all the way through my life. None of my family knew about my cross-dressing. It's something that I just kept as a secret. It's just, I've been in complete shock this week, to be honest. I mean, this is, comes off the back of uh, the last few weeks this has built up, um, you know, starting with the NHS giving advice to schools um, about how to treat the trans kids, you know, by saying that you have to dead name them, you know, use their old name and, and, and the, 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 the incorrect pronouns and that saying that they have to out them to, to their parents. And the problem with that is that um, so often the only safe space for uh, trans kids is at school, you know, talking to, to the, the teachers. Naomi Campbell candidly opens up about her drug and alcohol abuse, revealing she turned to substances to cover up her childhood trauma and grief, only for addiction to leave her with huge fear and anxiety. I'm off to meet Marie. She's a mum of two and feels it's time that she shared her true self. So let's go and put the kettle on. The LGBTQIA plus voice is growing and it's getting louder and louder. And that's music to my ears. For some, the pressure to be out and proud and to wave the flag and to conform to stereotypes is having an adverse effect on their lives. Summer is nearly here. Hurrah! <laughs> and so many of us are thinking about losing some extra pounds. I know I am, me too. But if we all open up a bit more, then I think the world would be a much better place. I've been Katie Neves. Thanks for watching.